side. Yeah. Is this your good side? I, I, I don't know. They told me the other side's my good side. Ah. I don't believe them. And surely any side is LA Knight's good side. I mean, that's debatable, but sure. Well, anyway, well, LA will get you everywhere. Yeah, Let's exactly. go. LA Knight, welcome to Gorilla Position. Uh, firstly, the absolute state of you not being part of WrestleMania. What did you say to the guys backstage? Considering the role you were on, the reactions you're getting, I was fuming. You must have been. Uh, we'll we'll, on, we'll, we'll leave that to the imagination. I had some things to say, but. Did uh, you? Oh, sure. But okay. uh, no. We ain't going to worry about that. What we're looking at right now is we're talking about money in the bank. So a lot of people are talking about uh, WrestleMania moments. Maybe some people would say this is my WrestleMania moment. I don't know. Doesn't really make a difference. Here's the deal. Tomorrow I'm going to reach up. I'm going to take that case. And we're going to move on one of the championships. And it's coming to this guy. Well, are you, though? Because a lot of fans are talking about how Logan Paul yeah. should win the briefcase. I personally, I, I would encourage fans to throw trash in the ring if that happens. You are the man to get this briefcase. What would you say to Logan Paul, who's the other favorite in this match? Well, what I'd say to you is I'd want to see the numbers on how many of these fans are saying that they think he's going to take it. I've heard rumors. As, as far as I can tell, yeah, right. You've heard rumors. But what I've seen is hard proof that everybody's looking for this guy to win it. So... Logan Paul, look, I'll welcome him. I already made him I made him famous on Raw a couple weeks ago. I basically went made that whole thing go viral, telling him where he could stick his bottles of Prime, all that kind of stuff. So tomorrow night, we're going to do the same thing, just in the physical form. Um, now, a lot of people compare you to Stone Cold, The Rock, two of the greatest sure. of all time. Is this a conscious decision? No, it, look, I've heard, uh, man, I've heard comparisons for everybody. I've heard comparisons to Macho Man. I've heard comparisons to Flair. I've heard comparisons to all these different people. So you could say anything you want. Now, have those guys influenced me in some way? Hell yeah, they did. Because if you're looking at my most formidable years, I'm a teenager, all of a sudden here, the big deal is The Rock, it's Stone Cold. Hell yes. Those, th those were two of the guys where I was just like, if I was ever to do this, that's, that's what I'd want to be like. And there's a lot of that missing right now where it's like there's not a lot of guys who are in, in respect to everything everybody does, but there ain't anybody who talks trash, there ain't anybody who comes in and just has a kick-ass fight, and that's what I'm looking to do. So if that makes you think of somebody else, good for you. But at, at the end of the day, there's one guy, L.A. Knight. Um, and if you're all the best uh, characters of the Attitude Era rolled into one, like I think you are, surely Bray Wyatt should be taking the spot of the now retired Undertaker. What has happened to Bray? Any insights? What isn't working with him? Hell, I don't know. He's probably back there playing with his puppets again. So I, I, I don't know where he went. I don't know what he's doing. Uh, but uh, maybe we'll see him. Maybe we won't. All I can worry about is tomorrow night picking up money in the bank case. Yeah. LA Knight, thanks so much. Yes, Have a great weekend. Good luck.